Please allow me to reintroduce my page and myself. I am TMZ, teaching everyone abundantly, empowering many. Zakia, which means intelligent in Arabic, enlightening every day. Sorry, I'm with the dry face. I'm in a rush as usual. But um, we just want to specifically talk about conjunctions today. So I took most, one second, I took most of the degrees down and left good old Pluto here, the furthest planet, the planet that represents and rules Scorpio. Its traits are being in depth, power, intensity, transformation, fear as well, and the underworld. And since it represents, Pluto represents Scorpio, we're gonna go up here to Scorpio and see what is gonna be affecting Pluto, as well as the conjunctions nearby. So again, <clears throat> welcome back to Get Life Astrology. As you see, we're getting back into the gear of things. Um, one of the most significant planets is helping information come in and transformation. So follow me now. <laughs> Now, just to talk about specifically the planets that we're going to talk about first and then go and sit down and have a conversation. Uh, the moon. It's not technically a planet, it's a moon, but it's where we, our emotions are set, where, how we react, where we need to feel safe, our intuition, security about taking any leaps of faith. That is what the moon represents, okay? Um, the nodes, especially the south node is what we are releasing, the sign Scorpio is releasing fears, um, not releasing fears, but it's, it includes fears, mystery, um, intensity, as I said about Pluto, transformation of all things. Then we're going to be talking about good old Mercury. He must have fallen down. One second. <laughs> and accidentally put Mercury with the degrees. So Mercury is what we call conjunct, very close energies, very closely to Pluto here. So Mercury is a personal planet, which deals with mostly individuals themselves. Pluto is a collective planet, which deals with the whole collective society as a whole. Mercury, the planet of communication, information, and knowledge, is blending its energies with the planet of transformation, intensity, depth, power, and fear, and the underworld, hidden things, okay? They are in the sign of Capricorn, which is a cardinal Earth. We're going to talk about mostly the elements and the modes a lot today. The moon is in a fixed water mode. It is actually in Libra today. It is Thursday the 9th. Shout out to my grand guy who is one month today. He just turned one month about an hour ago at 9.19. <laughs> Love you. Gramsy loves you, Zam Zam. Back to. So the Libra moon is going on right now. We have until Friday evening, Saturday morning when the moon will be in Scorpio. And because Mercury will be exactly conjunct tomorrow, around the same time the moon is in Scorpio, we are connecting the two. We also have in Aquarius the sun as well as Saturn. They are pretty much conjunct. I put the sun here just because it moves slower than some of the others. Not slower, but we just keep it here so we know what season we are in. Then we have Venus is in Pisces as well as Neptune, and these two are conjunct. To include these are all the final signs of the zodiac capricorn is the 10th sign aquarius is the 11th there are 12 signs in the zodiac and pisces is the last one so we're dealing with fixed energy with scorpio and aquarius we are dealing with mutable energy with pisces and we're dealing with cardinal energy with capricorn okay since my work ring i had time to get the other degree so conjunction means that they're close in degrees the Mercury and Pluto conjunction is happening at 28 degrees. So I had to use the 27 because I don't have two 28s for this conjunction in the cardinal earth sign. So you're thinking, what would initiation, that's what cardinal means, things that initiate, Capricorn season initiates winter, and earth, grounding energy, stability, strength, what would they do? And then you go look at the opposite sign cardinal water because water is compatible to earth and cardinal is still initiating the flow of things initiating the flow of things cancer is the mother capricorn is the father so we're initiating transformational information and then grounding with it sitting with it being responsible with it that's literally 
all this conjunction is about my hair is crazy <laughs> all right so mercury is how and where you can mostly effectively share your voice thoughts and truly communicate your message i have a few notes i'm looking at so i can go through this quickly so we are thinking responsibly on how to communicate this transformational information coming through pluto is where you and then mercury again is an individual planet so mercury is in uh what's called an inner planet it's close to the um sun so it moves faster pluto moves slowly literally pluto has been in the sign of capricorn since 2009 and it changes next month so expect big energy changes when an outer planet that moves slower goes into a whole new energy a whole new characteristic pluto is wearing how you naturally seek power if you don't naturally seek this power unconscious patterns might lead you to self-sabotage fear especially in business especially in responsible manners <laughs> this is so important y'all this is why we're specifically talking about mercury pluto conjunction i will go into the other conjunctions in part two. Ten ten, ashe all right y'all so for the sake of time let's get to the specifics okay why this is so important to me is because a <laughs> my ruling planet is involved okay b not my moon but the moon that rules um ruled by my sun i have a scorpio sun and ruled by my ruling planet pluto is going to be involved in this transit too again this transit is called a conjunction they're blended energies both of the energies are coming from this area in cardinal earth capricorn so what i like to theme this is not conjunction we'll see what i go with but i think mercury conjunction is the go-to's and the stay away from's okay um because it's again an inner planet interacting with an outer planet it's involving all of us heavily and because it's moving into the last deacon into the last degrees and then getting ready to switch signs both of them that's another significant thing so the planet of communication information knowledge even finances and a personal planet mercury blending with the planet of fear power mystery transformation the outer planet pluto individuals coming together with society is what this is the gist of you're individually coming together with others in society in your collective finding out about the hidden parts of society as a collective Information coming out that you are understanding about yourself because it's an individual planet. So this is yourself blended with the energies of others and the society you belong to as a whole. This can either step you back or push you forward into your power. Let me repeat that. And I'm speaking to myself, looking at myself, recording this. This can either step you back into more fear more hidden agendas, more mystery, no clarity until, you know, we move into these Pisces energy that we talk about. And that's still going to be foggy too, but <laughs> staying on target, it can either step you into your power if you responsibly take this information and transform yourself out of those outdated, those, those old patterns that just don't work anymore y'all especially in capricorn capricorn um the sign of capricorn is ruled by saturn saturn is the word for old people <laughs> saturn is the oldest planet okay so realizing what you fear about while you're transforming realizing the information or the knowledge you've always had or have been indoctrinated into all your life is now transforming and showing you the hidden parts of it. This is so serious, y'all. The realizing in yourself when you're discovering what you fear or what won't help you step into your power, what is blocking you, what is hidden, and you won't release it. Because also, Scorpio is about release. That's why this moon is so important, y'all. Because literally every Scorpio moon, and here we go again, I not only come on my cycle, <laughs> most of the time, but I'm having to release a lot of built up energies that are so intense 
Pluto driven, so intense that I have to chill my whole self out. Watch what I say, watch what I do and release. South node is what we're releasing our old karma, old patterns, things that don't serve us anymore. The moon is our reactions toward all that. I forgot to shout out my mother too. Um, it is Jupiter day. So Jupiter, you wear yellow. <laughs> I have yellow goldish hair. And uh, my mother got me these queen bee earrings. Shout out to Women's Truth Month because right now we're in Black Truth Month. But we're going to talk more about the word queen and how it's improperly used. Anyway, thank you, mommy, for my earrings. My mother has a Taurus sun. I have a Scorpio sun. We're total opposites. She has a Cancer moon. I'm a Capricorn moon. Total opposites. She's an Aries rising and I'm a Libra rising. Total opposites. And here's my Cancer child. <laughs> cancer sun. Virgo rising. Taurus moon. It's important to know your big three. Shout out. And let me know. I'm doing readings again if you need to know your big three and how it will affect you. And there's... Um, Our cancer got you, though. Yeah, we gave her the birthday of a cancer, too. All right, back focus and wrapping things up. So Capricorn is what gives you the hardest time, the most responsibility. It's, it's being responsible. It's your reputation. <clears throat> it's your status in life. And it is what gives you the hard times, especially when you have a personal planet and <laughs> the outer planet, the most outer planet. Co collectively coming together for the individual in the collective. So in a couple of weeks, just to tie this all together, Saturn will be moving into Pisces. Pluto will be moving into Aquarius. Mercury will already be in Aquarius in a couple of days. Um, things are wrapping up, okay? Aquarius is humanity energy, humanity taking over from authority, from the government, from the big corporations and moving into self-innovation things. So we'll talk more about that when we talk about the blended energies of the Sun and Mercury and Saturn in a couple of weeks. We'll also specify on Pisces energy and how it's ending to do the beginnings. Ending to start the new beginnings, which is Aries, right after Pisces, the first sign. Last sign, Pisces. Conjunctions here are super important as well. When we do have Pluto move into Aquarius, It'll be ending all this conjunction energy right now. The information will be out. The message will be made. The fear will either set in and take over you so that you can't be innovative and not prepared for the communication coming in with the air and fixed energy, persistent yet uh, communicative energy. And then with Saturn moving into Pisces, you need to prepare for the party to be over literally. I can't wait to talk about Saturn moving into Pisces, but plan ahead. Plan responsibly ahead for these things that are coming. And it's all about choices. As individuals in our group settings, our issues are not others' issues. They're none of our business. Your issue with me is none of my business. I have my own issues to attend to. I have my own information to transform. You have your own things to transform as well. Our issues can only be transformed individually within the collective so that we can interact well. Thank goodness it's a Libra moon while I'm talking about this because I'm going to shut down probably for this weekend or either I'm going to vent on TikTok. And please go to my new TikTok, Get a Life 999. It was formerly Get a Life. I've been suspended so many times. I thought I was coming back today. They pushed me to the 14th. So I just started a new one because more than likely I will need that new one. So please hit me up on TikTok, G-I-D-A-L-Y-F-E-999. I think that's it. Pluto moving into Aquarius will transform the authority, like I said, to humanity. So please step into your power. Please communicate with each other. If it's impossible to communicate with each other, that's okay. Try it another time. Work on communicating with yourself and telling yourself the truth and transforming yourself to a better you. Peace.